The search for a missing voter continues at Falls Lake. What we know so far. Police arrest a man after a fire broke out at an apartment. We hear from volunteers who stepped in to help those families that were impacted. I don't think the felony part is going through their mind, but they're probably just looking for money or checks or cash or whatever. It's a felony that's becoming more common across the country. At five, we're digging deeper into how mail theft is impacting our communities. Now, local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. And when he did wake up, the first thing he said was, where is my friend? Um, as soon as he said that, my heart dropped. The search and recovery for a missing voter continues at Falls Lake after two boats collided Sunday afternoon. Multiple agencies have been searching for the man who's been missing for more than 24 hours. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live at the Holly Point boat ramp where crews are actively working. Mariah, what do you know? Any new information at this time? Yeah, guys, you know, we actually just got an update just a few moments ago, and you can see that we have multiple agencies who are continuing to search behind us. This is a search that's been going on since about 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon when they first got this call. They also tell us that this lake has about 175 miles of shoreline. They're now refining their search, hoping to give this family some answers. Hours of searching, dozens of first responders working tirelessly. I'm very grateful for all the teamwork, for all the units that are here, all the agencies represented as we're striving very hard to bring closure. Wake County Sheriff Willie Rowe updating efforts of an ongoing search for a missing man after two boats collided Sunday afternoon on Falls Lake. My job here as sheriff is to keep the scene safe to support the family. The collaborative effort involving nine agencies and 50 first responders covering now more than 75 acres working on a boat, land and in water. Lieutenant Brandon Coffey with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission says crews are exhausting all options. There are many challenges challenges with us with search like this of uh, time um, and um, just the logistics and behind it. Coffee says dive teams as well as underwater drones and sonar technology are helping with the search nearly 25 to 30 feet deep. We do have divers that are going up and down as well as technology. Um, the, the underwater drones that is diving and then submerging and then uh, re-immersing at, at times. So we'd ask them to try and stay out of the area. Uh, it also disturbs the water column, so it makes it more difficult to see. Coffee says it's a search for answers as a family waits. Now we're also told that crews are going to be working out here until dark and possibly again tomorrow again to give this family some answers if they can. And we're told that really this has been just something that they've been working so hard out here in the heat, just trying to help this family and others who are hoping for answers as well. Live at Falls Lake, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.